Hello everyone. Today we're going to start the MEP Revit model. We're going to use a mechanical template to create the new project file. We're going to link in the architectural model. Then we're going to match our levels to the architectural levels so that our floor plans are the same. So the first thing we want to do is to create a new file with the mechanical template. To do that we go to the file tab. We go to new project here. You see the template file is set to construction template by default. So I want to go to browse. I want to go to mechanical default template. Highlight it. Click open. Now you see it's the template file we want to use. We want to leave it on at create new project and you want to say OK. So now you see you have your basic setup. You have your elevation markers. Uh, you have your mechanical as well as plumbing floor plans already set up. So next what we want to do is link the architectural model and you do that by going to the insert tab. Under the insert tab you have the link Revit button. So we'll go to that. Uh, you will go to the background folder uh, that you downloaded from the share drive and um, uh, you'll go to architectural project model. So I'm going to click on that. Uh, Everything by default should be fine. Origin to origin is what we want. So we say OK. And it links it in. Um, it is going to link it in above your default view, so just zoom out a little bit. Um, and first thing you want to do is pin this guy so you don't want him moving around. So I'm going to click on the model. And up here you have your pin. I'm going to click this. And you see here in the middle you have your pin icon showing that this is pinned. So now you try to click and move and he's not going anywhere. All right, so now let's do a file save as our name. So I'm going to save as project. I'm going to create a folder here actually called project2 and save it in here. And I want to name it my last name underscore project2. All 2018. Save that. Okay, <clears throat> so now that's done. Uh, next, we want to relocate our elevation markers. Uh, remember that these um, basically look the way that the arrow is pointed. And if you click on the arrow, see this line. This is what uh, basically, if anything is passed here, we don't we don't see um, anything behind this line. So if I go into this elevation here, you see I don't actually see my building because it's too far. Uh, too far away. So basically I'm just going to grab these guys here. I'm going to move him over. Just move these guys to each side of the building. Here, here, and here. Now you see if I double click on this arrowhead I have my building. All right, so since we're in uh, one of the elevations here, uh, we'll go ahead and um, create, um, you know, kind of move my levels around to match the architectural building. Uh, so we really only want the uh, level one, uh, the level two, and we're going to need to create a, another level for the roof here. So first thing, you see that the level one is, is fine. Uh, next is we want to align level two to the level two uh, level up here and a couple ways we can do that one is in your modify tab you have this uh, button up here align we're going to use this a whole lot so I'll use the button a few times but then I'm going to start using the uh, shortcut AL just to try to kind of get used to that because we're going to use this one a whole lot so what this is is click on my line and what this does is this uh, lines up two different things. The first one you click on is the one that you want to stay in place, and the next one you click on is the one that you want to move. So we want the uh, level two show building here. Click on this one. Then I can go and click on my level two level that's in our model, and you see it pulls it up to 15 feet here. All right, and if you remember back to your architectural, we want to create a level for the roof uh, rooftop here because we'll have some some units on the roof. The levels are in your architecture tab here, so I'm going to create uh, over here in your datum datums. You have levels. So I'm going to click on level here, and I'm going to actually use the pick line. 
so that I don't have to try to line up, you know, and, and not, you know, maybe get it just slightly off. If I click on this, and you see it essentially created a new level, um, called it Mechanical 3 around my roof. So I want to rename this, so you can either rename it in your properties over here, or you can just have your level selected and then click on the name here while, it's, while it has a box around it. I'm just going to call this roof. Do you want to rename corresponding views? So this one, you see that it created this mechanical three over here. So if I say yes, it's going to rename the view that it created, uh, which is fine for this because we're we're not gonna we don't need to change it to anything else. All right. So next, we are going to change the um, change the half tone underlay brightness to make it a little bit easier to see. That's going to be in your manage tab and then the settings panel and then you're going to go to additional settings here and then there's a half tone underlay right here and we're going to set this you see it's on 50 right now basically we want to set this guy up to 75. I see the building's a little bit easier to see I think 50 is a, a little too dark. Next we're going to create the phases and uh, phases are in Revit uh, basically separate time periods or milestones within the life of a project uh, you know basically for this we're going to do the shell building and then eventually a ten another tenant's going to come in and maybe a second tenant on the, the second floor so basically we're going to set up multiple phases for these for these potential tenants so to do that we go into the manage tab we go to phases by default you will have existing and new construction and we want to create uh, the existing we're going to change new construction to shell so you can just highlight inside the box here and type shell and then we are going to insert so we have shell highlighted here you can say insert uh, phase after so click on after and we'll just go ahead and put both of them in I'm going to call this tenant one Tenant two, and it is important that you match what we have here because this is exactly what's in the architectural model. So this will allow the architectural model to basically pick up uh, whenever we change our phase filters here in Revit. All right, so we have our name and description in each one. So there's one more step we need to do to fix the phasing. So you need to click on your background. You want to edit type in your properties. And you see down here in your properties, you have phase mapping. So what this will do is this will look at our existing phases in our model and look at the phasing in the architectural model. So basically we want to match. So we have existing in our model is existing in theirs. Shell in our model, we want to set this to shell building. Tenant 1 to tenant 1 and tenant 2 to tenant 2 is there by default. So now I say OK and say OK in my type properties. And now you see all of the furniture and interior uh, construction, like the future construction, is gone. Um, and what that is, is uh, basically you have in each view in your properties, you have your phase here. So you have uh, phase tenant one, uh, nothing on tenant two. Um, but uh, for all intents and purposes, for all of our views, we want phase filter to say show previous plus new and set our phase to show. Um, so you want to make sure, one, that, that, your, that all your views say this and that anything you draw uh, is in the, in the shell phase. Lastly, we want to make sure a option called room bounding is on. Room bounding is in the uh, edit type of the link. So select your link, go to edit type, and make sure room bounding is checked. And what that does is that allows us to create rooms and spaces with the background. Uh, normally, if that option is not checked, Revit does not see walls um, and doors that aren't in your model. And once we get all that done, we are complete. Make sure to save your work.